Hello everyone, Rowan here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be going over my most disappointing reads of 2015. So unfortunately at the end of every year you get to look back and reflect on all of the wonderful books you read that just exceeded your expectations and you fell in love with and really made you go crazy. But with that, of course, you also get to look back at all the books that failed to meet your expectations or horribly disappointed you or were nothing like you had hoped. And those are the books that I'm going to be going over today. Now just to be clear, I am under no circumstances saying that these books are horrible or garbage or even the worst books that I read last year. I'm simply going over books that either didn't live up to the hype for me or weren't what I expected or just ended up being really disappointing. And that doesn't mean that they're awful, it doesn't mean I'm saying they're awful, but to me they disappointed me in some way or another. So the first book on my disappointing list is A Cold Legacy by Megan Shepard. This is the third and final book to the Madman's Daughter trilogy, which I think I actually read like the whole trilogy last year. I really loved the first two books. I thought they were creepy and haunting and suspenseful and really dark, really well written, really interesting. So I was super excited to get my hands on the third and final conclusion, which promised to be just as spooky and frightening and dark as the other ones and it was taking place like on the Scottish Moors and it um, focused more on Frankenstein. I was so excited and this book really just did not live up to my expectations. It wasn't nearly as creepy or suspenseful or even really as dark as the previous books. The way that the romance was wrapped up was just weird and like too convenient and kind of silly and it just, it, it was not what I had expected and the author was obviously trying to get like a clear message across, which she did, but not in the way that I felt was best for this series. Next on my list is A Mad Zombie Party by Gina Showalter. So Gina Showalter did um, the Alice in Zombieland series, which was three books. So that was supposed to be the end of the series and it ended kind of on a like, not sad, but it wasn't really like a conclusion conclusion. So I guess she decided to write a fourth book, which I was excited about. And then I kind of heard more about it, the fact that it was going to be in somebody else's point of view from the original three, and it was going to be not really following like the main plotline of the original three. It was just kind of like an extra add-in book. I was kind of less excited. But the first three were so much fun that I pre-ordered it, I got it, and it was pretty disappointing. It just ended up not really having any of the things that I had hoped it would and for that reason it was very disappointing to me and I kind of wish she just would have left the original trilogy alone and let it be that. Okay, so the next disappointing read is probably going to get me a lot of hate, but honesty is the best policy and this one was actually really disappointing to me. And that is Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Now, I am a big Jennifer L. Armentrout fan. I really got into her stuff last year. I really liked the um, Darkest Powers, I think it was, the one with Roth, Swoon. But I, I like her books as like guilty pleasure sort of reading. And everybody talks about how Obsidian is just like the best. Everybody talks about how it's just the greatest and Damon is so hunky and swoony and romantic. So I read the first book and I was horrified to find that he was the biggest jerk ever. Like, there's kind of a line between that, like, sexy, teasy, flirty, like, I'm kind of douchey but you know you like it, and just being a total douchebag, like, jerk. And he was so rude to Katie. I think it was Katie is the main girl. He was so rude to her, and he was so, like, mean and cruel, and I just, I couldn't do it. Okay, the next one on my list is definitely going to get me some more hate, so I might as well just get these ones out of the way. Um, and that book is The Selection by Kira Cass. I know, everybody loves this book, this book is amazing, everybody loves it, it's the best, everybody's going to hate me now that I've said this, but I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I went into it with high expectations and an open mind, and it was fun, and it was interesting. The main thing that really made this book a huge disappointment for me was America. And the reason that was such a disappointment was because I was most excited to read about her. I'd heard 
so much good stuff about what a strong person she was and how she just really made this book and how she just was like a star heroine. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I hated her. I I really really hated her. She annoyed me so much and you know we can just count the whole series. I did read the whole series this year and in my opinion it just got worse and worse with every book and by the end of the series I really really hated her. So the book was not bad, the plot wasn't bad, the other characters were not bad, but this book was ruined because I I just could not stand her. Okay, and the next book on my list is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Now, I didn't hate this book. I think I gave it like three out of five stars. It was it was pretty good. However, it really was one of those cases where the hype got me so excited for it, and then it just didn't live up to the hype. So it was ultimately disappointing because I started this book, and the first chunk of this book is great in my opinion, when um, Cassie is alone and she's kind of like telling her story about what happened and wondering if she's literally like the only person left and you know whatever. That is really interesting. However, what made this book disappointing to me was the big chunk in the middle that was all romance. I really loved everything and where the story was going until the romance aspect came in and it just kind of took over the book. I felt like Rick Yancey had this really awesome idea. He was like, I'm gonna do this gritty invasion story about this young girl that she's like the only one left maybe and she's trying to find her brother and all these waves of things have come and like destroyed the human race and yeah yeah like this is a great idea and then he kind of stopped and he was like oh wait I have to y market it to young adults I guess I better throw in a romance and then there's this awful romance just shoved in the middle that takes up so much time and I personally didn't care about it just it just ruined it for me and okay ruined it might be a strong word like I said I didn't hate this book but I wish the romance had not been in it and it had been more of like a gritty survival story of her finding her brother and I don't know I just I didn't love it and the final book on my list was actually one of the first books I read in 2015 because I got it for Christmas and that is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray um, I was so excited for this book. I was so excited. Like, a revenge tale that involves, like, parallel universes? H how could that possibly get any cooler? I love revenge. I love parallel universes. The combo should have been amazing. But this book kind of had the same problem with the one I just went over. The romance. So much time was invested in this romance that I ultimately didn't really end up caring that much about because since the romance happened, the revenge stuff went out the window and I wanted the revenge stuff. I really wanted like a tale of revenge across parallel universes. Like how cool would that have been? Instead, we got like a couple of like brief instances in kind of parallel universes that weren't really that cool and then one huge chunk of time in it wasn't even like futuristic like parallel it was like I don't even remember some weird historical Russian something where she got to live as royalty and fall in love and then the revenge was gone and I just ah uh, in my opinion it was such a wasted opportunity like it could have been so cool I feel like now that I've been like talking about this I'm like a hater of romances but that is not the case. I mean if you if you guys know me at all I love romance. I love shipping. I'm not like against it. Just a lot of these books had issues with that taking over and ruining potential awesome plot stuff so I don't know. Well there are my most disappointing reads of 2015. Like I said they were by no means the worst books I read but they were ones that I was really hyped about and really excited to read that just did not deliver. Alright you guys, so what books were you disappointed to read in 2015? Feel free and comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.